Hey YouTube. Well, I got a little bit of time on my hands, so I want to make a little update video. One of the last videos I made was a conversion where we were taking the diesel engine out of this 88 Jetta and putting it into this 88 Volkswagen Fox. Well, some of you are probably wondering how we're going with the conversion process. Well, there's the answer to the question. It's in there. There are still a few things that need to be done to make it roadworthy. But we've got the diesel engine out of the Jetta in the Fox. So we had to make some modifications. As you can see, the radiator is not properly mounted. It should be further up tight in this corner. But for um, space concerns, we had to move it back this way. And it got a little fabricated mounting system on here. But it works. It does not get too warm. We don't yet have the glow plugs wired in yet through a relay of any kind. We're probably going to run it through a toggle switch. In the meantime, here's our hot lead that goes to the uh, glow plugs, and we just touch it to the battery to uh, heat up the glow plugs. Uh, we did have to make one other major modification, unfortunately, to uh, allow for the engine to be set in. And there's the concession that we had to make. That's the turbo that made the engine a turbo diesel in the Fox. Uh, there was a space constraint, I'm sorry, in the Jetta, there was a space con, uh, constraint in there that it was impacting the frame, uh, just wouldn't fit in there, so we had to lose the turbo for now uh, until we can find some way of possibly modifying the way that it's run to uh, fit it in there. So right now it's a 88 Volkswagen Fox non-turbo diesel. Some of the other modifications that were needed to be made was we had to take the oil pan, the oil sump pickup, and the oil filter assembly off of the original car uh, to set it in here to make everything fit because of the way it's, it's uh, configured, it was impacting, it was interfering with the way the uh, motor sits in here. So we had to use different oil pan, different oil pickup uh, tube, and the oil pump or uh, oil filter face. Uh, to change the orientation of the way the oil filter sets in there but other than that um, it's in here it still needs a few things to be modified uh, we don't have a functional glow pug assembly yet so we have to uh, to modify it to make it fit um, see this came out of another car uh, what did that come out of duster diesel uh, duster diesel so this is not original uh, to it but uh, we're gonna get a little start video in here so we're gonna we need about what four seconds uh, about 10. 10 seconds? Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And there it is. I've already had this car out on the road today. There's a little drag in power. It doesn't have quite the pickup that it used to. Uh, without the turbo on but in terms of drivability it's a very drivable car one of the other modifications you can go ahead and shut it down thank you one of the other modifications we did have to make is we have to continually run wherever it is uh, we have to continually run an electric fuel pump on it because for some reason uh, it's not wanting to draw fuel uh, without having an electric fuel pump. Uh, even though the um, diesel injection pump is brand new rebuilt, cost us a lot of money to have that done. But we, uh, we got it on there. So we're running an electric fuel pump full time. This is the hot lead to it, which is run to a hot when ignition on source. So the second you turn on the ignition switch, the fuel pump comes on and starts pumping. Uh, other than that, this is a ready-to-go car. We did have to put an aftermarket um, radiator uh, fan on it for obvious reasons uh, to keep everything uh, cool as a cucumber. And um, the parts I mentioned had to be replaced. It wouldn't run off of the way the system with the gas was, Okay. so I had to run it directly. So another modification that I wanted to make was the fuel tank. This is the original fuel tank out of the uh, Jetta, which, uh, by the way, whenever I get this video posted, as of right now, this is for sale. Uh, it's a good fuel tank. 
uh, we're running that car on the original Fox gas tank, which the uh, only modifications that I'm aware of that we had to make was the filler neck, the um, little flapper thing in the filler neck had to be uh, opened up to accommodate a diesel pump to fill it. Um, but other than that, we're running the uh, Volkswagen Fox fuel tank and we're running the uh, Volkswagen Fox fuel pump uh, originally designed to uh, pump gas it is now pumping diesel uh, we couldn't put this in the Fox because of configuration issues this is a rather unusually shaped gas tank as far as I'm concerned I've never seen this uh, dinosaur neck sticking up on any gas tanks um, so that's what we come across so we're just using the Fox fuel tank to run diesel in it so one thing you may notice uh, that we don't have installed yet is we don't have a cold start cable uh, installed in the Fox yet. We could pull it out of the Jetta, but the one in the Jetta is damaged and never worked right in the first place. Uh, it would always bind up and jam. So as of right now, we're starting this without the cold start cable. We're just using the glow plugs. But it's summertime, and that's really not much of an issue at this point anyway. We do have an intention eventually of converting uh the uh the system to have the cold start cable but we don't have that installed yet okay so before i end this video for time constraints i mentioned earlier that the uh, way that the oil filter had to be mounted had to be modified you can see it's kind of diagonal off there uh we had to uh, use the um, uh, mounting system off of the original gas engine uh, to make it this way because in the original uh, design it faced straight down and that interfered with the engine mount and uh, in order to accommodate mounting of the engine into the car we had to just swap that over so this is what we've got folks uh, 88 Volkswagen Fox used to be gas now running an 88 Volkswagen Jetta diesel engine with an 88 Volkswagen Fox transmission uh, a few things had to be modified to accommodate this uh, redneck nigger rigging but it's together it runs it drives it's tagged it has a few other things that need to be uh, sorted out which will be taken care of over time but uh, the process is for the most part done um, all we're left with now is an 88 Volkswagen Jetta that we may end up selling off or parting out not entirely sure yet we do know we're going to pull the brand new half shafts out because those are cash in the bank. Um, so anyway, there's where our conversion stands. So if uh, anybody has any comments, then feel free to post a comment on there. And uh, I appreciate you for watching. Okay, so as uh, one final notation on this video that has nothing to do with the uh, Volkswagen Fox or the Jetta over there or the gas tank, and that is... Project Green Hornet over here finally doing something with it uh, if you watched my videos you've seen that last uh, 99 Escort ZX2 or 99 uh, 98 Escort ZX2 the white one that had uh, wiring or computer issues well the owner of that needed something else to drive and this was supposed to be his granddaughter's but we're working on it now and uh, so we'll kind of make some up-to-date videos on that as we can but thanks for watching